This is a demonstration of the Graviograph M20 engraving a stainless steel inch and a quarter round tag. I already have our program set up and we're going to be engraving Frank right in the middle of that part. We're going to take this program which I've already drawn and we're going to send it to the machine to be engraved. And I've already selected from the drop first drop down box that I want to engrave steel. We're going to use the regulating nose, which is going to set our depth. We're going to be rotary engraving. And we have the origin, which I have set already. And we're going to auto-Z reference. So it's everything's going to be done automatically. Machine is ready to engrave. We'll send the program to the machine. And we'll push our green button. And we're going to get a list of instructions of how to set the depth. And what it's telling us now is to remove the cutter and turn the micrometer to zero, which I've already done ahead of time so we can set our depth. Once that is all set, we push the check, check button. There's our check mark. It's going to come down and stay at the bottom. Next group of instructions is going to say to insert the cutter. And we're going to drop the cutter right down to the center until it hits the bottom. So that's the bottom. Take our little wrench and we'll tighten up this little Allen screw because now we know we're on the bottom. Just a snug, don't muscle it. Okay, once that's set, our instructions say press the check button. Go back to the check button. It's going to bring our height up. Now it's telling us to set the micrometer down um, a few thousandths of an inch. So we'll loosen this screw here, the set screw. And we'll just turn this down a couple of thousandths. Tighten that back up. And once that's all set, we'll push our green button to go. As with stainless steel, it is a very slow process. It's a very tough metal to cut. You cannot go very fast with it. And we've completed our cut. And that's our rotary engraving. Now if we want to go deeper, because you could really never go your full depth with one shot, the engraving cutters just can't take it. So once again what we'll do is we'll loosen our thumb screw. We'll bring this down a couple of more thousandths of an inch. It's not very deep. You only have to engrave about five to eight thousandths in depth to get a nice engraving. And then once that's done it's just a very simple Push the green button again and it will rerun the program. And you can actually hear it engraving much deeper than it did the first time. Now you probably see the machine, once it comes down, it stalls for a second. That's called a dwell time. A dwell time is used to make sure that the engraving bit is at its full depth when it first makes the, the engraving. If not, what happens, it looks like you ramped into it and it's not clean. So by it going down and staying there, called a dwell, it will actually give you a much finer engraving. It takes a couple of seconds longer, but your engraving quality is much, much higher. And there you go. And there's your finished product there. This machine is a refurbished 2007 engraving machine, an M20. It is for sale. And now once we finish this, suppose we want to save off everything we've done. All we have to do is come down to here to our little box with the folders. Click our folders. And we want to save the active file. 
and you can see what I just engraved is on your dialog box. So I'll just call this Frank, and hit the check mark, and that's it, and that's totally saved. So next time you come by, all your settings are done, and this tag's ready to be engraved for anything else you want to put on there. So all we have to do at this point is just back this up, and we can change this to, to Alfred, and it will auto-condense. That's what's cool about this software. Everything just auto-condenses for you. And that's our demonstration of the M20 engraving machine, engraving stainless steel.